So coaches, the next screen I'm going to talk about is something that's really developed the last couple of years, and that is a double screen. So we're going to, again, have our tailback run rocket motion one side or the other. Typically, it'll be to the field side. And basically what we're going to do is the exact same thing that we would do with middle screen with our footwork, but now we're going to do it from both sides. And really what this does is this does a great job for our quarterback giving us a two-way go because now instead of just having – one target he's got two targets and we just tell him to look for the easiest throw between these two the blocking up front is exactly the same our tackle is going to fan and lock on the defensive end or outside linebacker tackle fan lock on guards are going to fan and then release and look for the stacks our center is going to let the nose go the direction he wants to get hands and then go for the mic right there so this would be 828 double screen, double middle screen, MS middle screen, or if we were putting in motion this way, it would be 929 double MS, which stands for middle screen right here. And then what we want to do with our slots is they're going to add into the blocking for us. So even though we've got our guard center and guard that's going to release, if I throw to this player right here, we want this player right here, as soon as he knows that he's not getting the ball, release upfield and try to go block someone. So that adds another blocker if they're paying attention and they react quickly enough to get downfield and then block for their partner slot right here. So as a quarterback's dropping back, if he looks this way and sees this tackles right in the window that we want to try to hit right there, he can come off and hopefully find the other slot open right there. So it's a two-way go for our quarterback. So this would be a normal pass set by our slots if we were throwing the ball downfield. And you can see they're stepping down inside and then fanning outside. And if we were going to throw our double screen, what we do is get hands on right here. We'd actually have our tackle on him. But then our slots are going to just pivot right back into this area right here. We want to make sure they don't pivot and then slide inside. We want them to freeze in the B gap so they're not too close to each other. So here's the actual screen right here. You're going to have Tom motion coming towards us. You're going to see our slots are going to pass pro just like they normally would. Our tackles are locked on. And now our slots are going to pivot into that B gap and then freeze right here. And you can see here, as soon as our H, as soon as we throw the ball to the H, you can see our Z takes off downfield now. And now he's looking for someone else to block. Another one right here, I'm going to have motion this direction. Quarterback should take a peek at the motion, then drop back, and then find the one that's the most open. Good little pickup for us right there. Another one right here, motion coming this way. This one here, they're, they're a little bit closer than I'd want them to be typically. I want them to basically freeze as soon as they spin open right there. All right here, motion coming this way, quarterback peak. There's our Z catching the ball. There's our H starting to take off out in front, try to get a block for us. Motion going away right here, pivot open. And then as soon as we know we're not getting the ball, we want to release downfield, try to get a block for us. Our next screen here is going to be what we call smoke. And this is a wide receiver screen away from the motion. So you saw before with our laser and our rifle, where we will motion one way and then screen right in this area right here. When we call smoke, what that tells us is that the wide receiver away from the motion is going to take a step vertical, step back, show his numbers to the quarterback, and then we're going to throw a fast screen to our wide receiver right here. The blocking with this is we're going to have our, 
our tackle right here, our play side tackle, he's going to release flat and fast and try to kick out this corner right here. We like to run this against teams that stem their linebackers and their single high safety moves across, or it's a two high safety. They like to roll the safety down where the motion's going to and roll the safety back away right here. So here's what it would look like right here. We'd have our tackle going to kick out. We'd have our guard, center guards, pass protect right here, fan out. We might have our tackle release like it's rocket, our H release like it's rocket, and then our tailback help protect that front side right there. And what we're going to do here, this is actually drawn up for a left-handed quarterback. Left-handed quarterback is going to take the snap. He's going to take one step this way to the motion, stick his foot in the ground, and then throw back this way. You want to think of it, if it's a right-handed quarterback, he's going to step to his right, stick his foot in the ground, and throw back left. So it's kind of like a second baseman turning a double play. But here to the left side, throw right here. And then our slot, or our wide receiver here, after this kick out, we want to step up, step back, catch the ball, get vertical, and then get outside again. So we want to get inside this kick out block and then back outside up the sideline. Sometimes we'll pull our guard out in front as well. So this is what we would do to set the play up just to see if it's even going to be there. You can see we're in a trip set. We've got Tom motion coming this way. They've only got one corner into the backside right there. So this would be a good example of how we would set this play up as, as the start of the game goes. So this is the actual play itself. You can see this is a left-handed quarterback. He's going to look at the motion. We'll step right there. A wide receiver is going to step up one step, step back, show his numbers, catch the ball, then get inside out of the tackle's block right there. That's a great job by our tackle right there. Eliminating the corner, and then that guard helped us get in the end zone right there. Next one right here, this one's out of spread. We've come in motion, and now it's just the tackle that's going. This linebacker actually does a pretty good job of sniffing it out. And it's good effort by our wide receiver right there. We really need to come under control as a tackle right there. You can see he's going for a kill shot right here. He's got to come under control, make sure he gets his body in front of him right there. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data, and you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.